two of the Teen Titans' greatest villains first appeared in this comic, and that's not all of its significance to them. This comic is being referenced to this day in the new storyline, The Lazarus Contract. So I'll give you a quick rundown of the new Teen Titans number two by Marv Wolverman and George Perez. Hive attempts to hire Deathstroke to kill the Teen Titans. They can't agree on the terms, so Deathstroke tries to leave. But Hive doesn't take rejection well, so they try and kill him. Only it doesn't work and Deathstroke ends up leaving. We found out Hive wasn't trying to kill Deathstroke, it was more of a test so that they can analyze his skills to duplicate them. Wonder Girl and Starfire go to Carol's apartment to try to make restitutions for the fact that they damaged it in a fight earlier. They get there in time to save her from a domestic dispute from her boyfriend who won't take no for an answer. Funny thing is, he's the one that found Starfire and rescued her. But since he's in the wrong for grabbing his girlfriend, the Teen Titans kick him out and he vows revenge. Later that night, the new Teen Titans go to take on some bad guys. They work well as a team, but Starfire is uncontrollable. She doesn't get the good guys don't kill and property damage thing, and it's hard to teach her since she doesn't speak English. But she can tell that there's a problem with her and her team, so she fixes it by kissing Robin. That kiss gave her the ability to speak English, so Beast Boy offers to give her a lesson in French or Chinese. Although it was only skin contact that was necessary, the kiss was because Starfire immediately took a liking to Dick Grayson. The next day, the new Teen Titans have a pool party at Beast Boy's mansion. Kid Flash shows up late as all Flashes do. Raven and Cyborg aren't there yet, because Raven doesn't hang out with the team. She has assembled them, but their purpose hasn't come yet. And Cyborg went to visit his father first and was attacked on the way back. His attacker was Ravenger. Ravenger has the reflexes to sneak up on Cyborg and dodge all of his attacks, but Cyborg hits him with sound waves, which paralyze Ravenger, keeping him from carrying out his revenge on the Teen Titans. Ravenger is Grant Wilson, who was given abilities greater than Deathstroke from Hive to kill the new Teen Titans, and almost failed against Cyborg alone until Deathstroke intervened and saved him. Deathstroke takes Ravenger away and warns him that his body can't handle his new abilities, but Ravenger suffers from one of those never meet your idols, they'll just be jealous of you moments. He storms off to prove that he is better than the legendary Deathstroke. This time the Teen Titans are waiting for him. They try and talk him down but Grant is so engulfed with anger and revenge he doesn't listen. But he is not alone, Deathstroke followed him to give him support. But Ravenger doesn't want the help and he lunges at Robin, but what kind of role model would Deathstroke be if he didn't help out? Ravenger told him that his father used to tell him stories of Deathstroke the Terminator. He can't just sit there. So he goes after Wonder Girl who uses her lasso but Deathstroke just tosses her into Starfire with it. Ravenger is doing much better this time around as he is steadily fighting three titans at a time until Starfire starts throwing star bolts at him. She doesn't hit him as his reflexes are too good but using his abilities is taking a toll on his body and he stops fighting. Deathstroke rushes to him and then Raven appears to make sure this petty fighting has come to an end. As Deathstroke unmasks Ravenger, he sees that his boosted metabolism has begun to age him rapidly. With his last dying breath, he asks Deathstroke if they killed the Teen Titans. Just as Deathstroke goes to answer him, Raven takes pity on him and shows him an image of the Titans defeated so that he may finally drop his hatred and find peace. Deathstroke picks him up and carries him away, blaming the Teen Titans for his death. It rained at the funeral of Grant Wilson. His girlfriend was there and so was an unmasked Deathstroke. He has decided to pick up the Teen Titans contract that Grant failed on in honor of his son. All the while Hive was watching and this is exactly the outcome they planned. Deathstroke will take the contract for free after the death of his son, now with a personal vendetta against the Titans. Deathstroke and Hive both made their first appearance here. Deathstroke is only called Deathstroke the Terminator and his real name is not revealed but we learn about his oldest son Grant Wilson who became the first Ravenger. Ravenger made his first costume appearance in this issue, although Grant Wilson first appeared in the issue before this. This comic is part of the beginning of the popular roster of the Teen Titans. If you took off Wonder Girl and Kid Flash, you'd have the team from the Teen Titans cartoon. This story is referenced in part 1 of the Lazarus Contract, which is now coming out. You can click the card in the top right corner to see my video on that. We also learn about the team. Dollars aren't compared, but Beast Boy's stepdad's mansion is bigger than Wayne Manor. And Starfire is meant to be the sexy one. She has the big 80s hair and she'd rather go swimming naked. Released in December 1980, it originally sold for 50 cents. Now this issue sells for about $100 and well over 300 
depending on the condition. But the story can be found in a couple of different trade books. This story would go to lead to the famous story, The Judas Contract, which is why part of it appears in the 2017 animated movie, Judas Contract, based on the comic by the same name. If you like seeing videos about important key issues, hit the subscribe button. A video like this will come out the second weekend of every month. I want you to know you're helping this channel grow, and it's really appreciated. All you did was subscribe and give this video a thumbs up, and you made my day, so thank you. We're working on growing to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so share this video if you like it. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Brian out.